Tonight, catastrophic flooding across the Midwest. In South Dakota, neighborhoods off the Big Sioux River are unrecognizable, with streets completely caved in and people unable to access their homes. Some cars washed away, others are teetering on the edge of those collapsed roads. And the water is still gushing. In Minnesota, entire communities are submerged. We literally watched our childhood wash over the bank. Trees, buildings. Residents near Mankato are bracing for the possible failure of the Rapidam Dam. Oh my God. That's her life. Jenny Barnes grew up here. Her father and brother live in this house by the river. We're hanging in there. Our house is hanging by a thread. It's not just their home they're worried about. The family has owned the dam store for more than 50 years. That's what we I worry mean, about the most. The store, we know the house is gone. We know we'll never be able to yeah, go back in that house. Anymore. But let's keep the damn store. That's yes, the main that's, goal. But that's our business. That's our livelihood. It, just... And in Sioux City, Iowa, the water levels are going down. Residents aren't out of the woods yet. Shaquille Brewster is there. 24 hours ago, this road was completely flooded. The water here is clearly receding, but you see the Big Sioux River is still at historic levels. Rich and Amy evacuated their mother overnight. How weird is it to be this close to the house but not able to access it? Right. Devastating. It's very, very, yeah, devastating is a good word. Devastating. It's right there. Yeah. Crazy. It's within reach, but it's not within reach. With a strong line of thunderstorms already wreaking havoc across Michigan today, more rain is set to return here by the end of the week. Adrian, that's a dramatic backdrop we're looking at. The rain has stopped, but I know there are still dangers out there. Lester, that's right, and city officials are pleading with people to stay away from the rushing water. Folks have been trying to get pictures of this scene all day. Officials say even though the ground looks stable, it's not. And officials warn if someone were to accidentally fall in, there's no way first responders could go in for a rescue. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.